welcome students let's learn about our diet let's see what is diet we eat some food preparations as part of our meals every day we also eat some snacks between meal times besides we might also have milk tea coffee or sherbets all that we eat or drink during the day is together called our diet Let's see why does our food intake differ on different days. Sometimes we feel very hungry and we eat a lot. That day our food intake is more. At some other time we do not feel so hungry and we eat very little. That day our food intake is less. Can you tell which of these two is likely to have a bigger intake? What could be the reason for that? Here Tai is young. she eats more so her intake is also bigger grandma is old so her intake is limited let's see the different types of work when doing certain kinds of work we make a lot of vigorous movements such work is hard on the body it is called physical labor physical labor makes us very hungry some kinds of work can be done sitting at one place It does not take hard physical effort to do it. Such work is called sedentary work. People who do sedentary work do not feel as hungry as those who do physical labor. The diet of people doing physical labor is greater. They need more food. Do you know chores like carrying water, washing clothes, sweeping and mopping the floor involve physical labor? those who do such work feel more hungry whether it is a man or a woman who does these chores it is necessary that he or she gets enough food when children are growing bodily growth is very rapid so girls and boys of growing age need a lot of food let's see the variety in food we eat a lot or a little depending on how hungry we are that is our hunger determines how much we eat here we are thinking about the amount we eat we also need to consider which food items we eat different people include different items of food in their diet what could be the reasons for that if only a certain combination of dishes is prepared every day then we have to eat the same food all the time having such meals would be a boring chore so different dishes are prepared in turn in regions where rice grows in plenty rice becomes a major part of the diet of the people living there in regions where jowar or bajra are a major crop people include more of bakri in their meals in certain regions wheat is the major crop people in those regions eat more chapatis fish is available in plenty in the sea therefore the people in konkan have a lot of fish in their diet depending on the seasons we get different vegetables and fruits at different times of the year accordingly the food items in our diet also change when there is a ceremony special dishes are prepared we make sweets especially when we celebrate a festival Now let's see what care should we take about our food. If we wish to be healthy then we must take care about our diet. So we should eat all the dishes made at home. We must not avoid eating things merely because we don't like them. Sprouted pulses and leafy vegetables should be included often in our diet. We should also have yogurt and buttermilk occasionally. You should always pay attention that newspapers and TV frequently advertise cold drinks. They also advertise many food products. We are tempted to buy them. They are tasty. Their wrappers are attractive, but that does not mean that they are also good for health. Always remember to keep good health. Care must be taken about the food we eat. Thank you and please like, share and subscribe.